We live in the matrix. The matrix we built ourselves over the years and which dictates so much of our way of life. This matrix has been growing by erecting one barrier after the next, after the next, until we as individuals have become prisoner of its structure. Today we can see that this structure is broken. It's outdated. The good news is, the structure is not a fatality. It is not down to luck. It is our own joint construct. So we must ask ourselves, are we happy with the outcome, with the way the world we live in? Today, with exponential progress, we can change that reality and we can reformat it to fit the world we want to live in. We have learned a lot since these old foundations were built. We have better science, exponentially more advanced technologies, and higher transparency and awareness of our ecosystems. So don't you think it's time for a systemic overhaul? How about we build a system that fosters fairness, inclusiveness, and a better, more sustainable future for all of us? I believe there must be a better way. I first became aware of our old world foundations failings as a child, seeing different angles and different sides of reality. As a Lebanese Israeli, born in the Lebanese civil war, running from Beirut west to Beirut east under the bombs, in a country divided by clanism and religion, when I didn't see what these barriers had to be. I then grew up as an Arab Jew in Egypt and in Europe, enjoying one day fish and chips in London or Paris, celebrating Jewish holidays with the Star of David, which I had to remove when boarding the plane to Beirut or Cairo, where I went there to have shawarma and batata in the streets of Agami and enjoying ift iftar with my cousins. On top of this, I chose to be a woman venture capitalist in a man-dominated guild. Very often the only woman in the room, being on Goldman Sachs trading floor, in Ramallah government offices, negotiating economic development projects, or in Tel Aviv venture capitalist offices. And finally, as a personal mission, I decided not to separate the world of doing good from the world of business and to align fully my family, professional life, business life, as well as our core values to build the world we want to live in. And this is quite an old and explosive and conflicting mix, according to humanity living in the old matrix. Well, I grew up naturally thinking that those things do not have to be in conflict. They can coexist, that there must be a better way which holds the keys to the world we want to live in. First, let's understand the root of our current system. Why are those barriers so high? For centuries, societies and leaders have been growing by spreading divides, by damaging our ecosystem with horizontal and destructive growth rather than vertical and generative expansion. These systems are based on all centuries, on all centuries' beliefs and tools, and we now realize that they are generating dire consequences for most of us and creating deep vulnerabilities. Our planet's vulnerability with climate change, pollution, plastics everywhere. Our social construct vulnerabilities with racial divide and inequalities. Our political system vulnerabilities with so much corruption and populism in different parts of the world. Our economic system's vulnerability with so many companies making more negative impact on our world and actually creating value. And even our own bodies and mind vulnerabilities with COVID-19, soaring stress levels, chronic diseases and so much avoidable suffering. And the state of affairs is dire consequence of these rigid, outdated, underlying systems that we've built. But the good news is, the world is moving too fast today for the old system to cope. And as a first order effect, the system is trembling and change is happening in front of our eyes. I see a concrete example in my countries that are overheating and sharing many of these deep vulnerabilities and systemic failure in a very critical form. And 2020 has laid them bare for everyone to see and for many to rise up against. We have national protests on both sides of the border, firmly demanding the exact same thing, an end to practices that have brought the majority of us on our knees. Lebanese and Israeli people have many things in common. The pain of deeply broken systems, of very complex structures, and the hope that comes from two of the most enterprising and educated people to fight for change. If this system is faulty, 
If there is a better way, now is the time to push harder than ever before and leap forward. We're at the tipping point where we can create a better way for all. And finally, build a system that includes those that are currently left behind, like the inspirational youth the desperate refugees, the bottom of the pyramid that is shouldering the weight of the top, the peoples in Israel, Balfour and in Lebanon, Babda, those that are the victims of an avoidable pandemic or of climate change. Those left behind? Well, it's the majority of us. And that's why we need to take charge and not wait for leaders to rise up against the election cycle or for corporates uh, to truly embrace sustainability. We need to do it for ourselves. And indeed, as we're nearing this system failure, there is real hope because we are the prime of human knowledge, technology advancement and connectivity. There is a better way. We just need the cows, the coalition of willings, to rise up to this challenge against the pigs, those perpetrating inequities for gains. It may be complicated, some say impossible, but to quote Interstellar, it's just necessary. And I hope that Beirut August 4th Big Bang, the big fires in Australia and Brazil, the dramatic COVID-19 crisis, and so many other events that have shaken 2020 can be the tipping point for this coalition to rise up. There is already some work in action that we need to accelerate fast. At national level, short-term lobby base and clan-based politics, where the citizens and the country's long-term welfare are just a very remote concern must change. And we actually see better governance structures and models and forward-thinking corporations in some parts of the world that are really using true alignment of interest and showing us a path. When it comes to long-term vision in the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates are courageously showing us a path, breaking from a divisive past of, in the Middle East towards a better future for millions of people based on forward-thinking um, systems, on technology, on science, on new knowledge to build the country on better grounds and the region with it. Second, at the corporate level, there are profitable companies that are financially attractive and that contribute positively to their ecosystem, that are aligned with all stakeholders in providing and solving vital needs, like widespread access to education, safe electricity, better food, and affordable quality healthcare. Ignite is one of them, and together with other visionaries, showing a path to a cleaner, more inclusive and better future that is embracing innovation and replacing these functional, centralized, old systems with new models that are decentralized, agile and smart, that can serve everyone and everywhere. At the social level, data have been revealing entrenched inequalities of gender and minorities that were built on an old social code, which has today zero rational background. Take the women versus men inequality. Why does it exist? because of a broken childcare system, poorly structured parental leave, socioeconomic bias, and so on, many of which were built to accommodate the hunter-lover. But we're not exactly an agrarian society anymore. There is a better way. It needs entrepreneurs, corporates, political leaders, all of us, that to dare go from a white sheet of paper and fully support breakthrough and bold solutions. Those solutions will appear probably senseless to many in power because they are threading the status quo. They are outside of the box. They do not use the same framework and tools that we're using today to analyze the world we live in. They all have common elements that we can look at and that also understand how to build this 3.0 solution and give us some guidance to get to a positive and generative system. Here are just two of them. A transparent and trustworthy data that drives accountability. Indeed, that would enable us to back a form of capitalism that can internalize all non-externalities. Indeed, and thanks to new advances in science and in data, and in data um, we cannot find externalities, measure them, and attribute them to those responsible and in real time. So just reward the good guys and find the bad guys. We can also share those results with stakeholders in a new system of accounting and reporting. It's about time that all the systems that we live by, such as basic accounting, GDP, taxes, economics, are really aligned with our welfare. This impact transparency will have far richer consequences. First, instead of taxing all of us to remedy for the negative impacts of a few, such as pollution or products that cause obesity, government will be able to tax the companies directly harming us and create incentives to support the companies or people that are creating positive impacts. Lastly, 
we need a deep we need we need we need deeply aligned systems in the deeply rooted misaligned interest in the way is, is standing in the way of change and often the regulations that we put in place that are pretty complex to deal with these issues end up being tricked or corrupted by a few a better foundation could be built on true alignment of interest and incentives and shared interest and embedded long-termism this aligned flow framework can be we can be can be used to reform the public sector to make sure that those elected that governance and public agencies are accountable not just before election or on the day of election but before their terms after their terms during their terms similarly in the world of business we can build a health system where corporation corp and doctors and insurers are truly aligned with keeping people healthy and preventing and prevention rather than just seek care in other sectors, such as the food industry, we can easily internalize non-externalities so that corporations care more about nourishing people rather than poisoning them with unhealthy recipes for fat margins. For utilities, there's as well a way that we can price reward for saving energy rather than ride on governance subsidy for peak production of electricity by burning coal, polluting all of our air while, while discount price for those that are actually consuming vast amount of energy. These are a few examples that can be readily accelerated. Seven years ago, we founded Ignite to do just that. And I chose to focus on applying these principles on all of our work. I also moved to the UAE, which embraced many of these concepts at national level. Because while some are still debating the difficulty of overhauling our broken legacy system, others embrace a digital, decentralized, democratized and disruptive future ready to adapt without regret to the 3.0 sustainable reality. We must start thinking about the tomorrow we want to live in and start building it today. As a species, with these new advanced superpowers, we have a clear choice. And looking at a blank canvas, let's ask ourselves if we could rebuild our societies with the aim of a more sustainable and equitable future. Is another time to do it? There is a better way.